And howdy guys and thanks so much for checking out this tutorial series all about Shopify app development. This is the app that we will be building. Uh, this is a um, shopper facing news feed for shoppers to uh, view content, uh, react with emojis and create new content. And this is the embedded Shopify app for store admins to moderate the content as it comes, comes in, um, create topics and a bunch of other cool stuff set the logo, customize stuff, and it's really, really a cool app. So the first thing you're going to need to do in order to get started is install Ngrok. So we're going to do, we're going to go into ngrok.com and we're going to download it for Windows. All right. So let's see, download for Windows. All right. Because, and uh, while we wait for it to load, I'll just, uh, I'll explain why we need Ngrok is because uh, Shopify's API needs to talk with um, uh, is sitting in the cloud so you can't uh, everything that's happening locally all the HTTP post requests that happen on your local machine gets forwarded via ngrok um, to all these uh, to the the Shopify cloud so that's kind of what what we need to do we'll run an ngrok command over here once once we get it running okay one second let's open it up Okay, ngrok.exe. That's cool. Let's let's just extract all into our downloads. Okay, and see if see if everything works. All right. So ngrok is now extracted uh, from the zip file, and uh, once we click that button, then we see this this terminal over here, which says something about ngrok. Let's try to see if it works. Yes, that's positive. Okay, so we're going to do ngrok HTTP 3000. Oh, you know what? Let's do 777. Okay, quadruple seven. Cool. Now, once we do that, then ngrok says it's running on port quadruple seven, and it's going to give us this URL over here. All right, so let's go ahead and just take that URL from the HTTPS. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do control C, see if that works. Okay, yes, I only press control C once. All right, so once I go in here, then if I go into the actual app, by the way, you're going to need to set up a Shopify partners account as well in order to generate your Shopify API key and your API secret key. And so go ahead and create an account on partners.shopify.com um, as well. Once you do that, then you're going to create a new app. It's pretty simple. And you're going to go into the app setup over here. That's the API key and API secret key. You will need that too. This is the app URL for the embedded embedded um, embedded Shopify app, and that is specifically for this, right? So whatever is happening on port three thousand uh, will get forwarded, and that's how that that's that specific app. But you also have something called the proxy app, and that's pretty much what's sitting over here. It's kind of it's sitting on your Shopify store, um, right? Just uh, on community slash connect so social king dot app right whatever the domain is slash the prefix slash community slash connect is going to serve this specific app so let's go ahead and and search within our partners dashboard for the word proxy okay perfect and that's exactly how that's configured we we have our proxy url over here ngrok.io slash proxy okay so we're going to take that ngrok URL that we just got. We just paste it right in there and then we press save. And the nice thing about that is now everything that's running on port uh, quadruple seven is now going to get forwarded uh, to, to this, all right, to this app. And this is called Social King Dev. Let's go ahead and, and open up a new terminal over here. And we're going to go into the social king repo and by the way if you need access to the repo and it's not public um, feel free to just uh, put your github username in the youtube comments below and i'm happy to send you over I invite you to access the repo and play along uh, throughout the tutorial all right so there you got cd social king i'm going to go and let's just do a dir to show the the repo structure we have admin backend, admin front end, and we have the proxy. For this example, we just want to get the proxy running. So we're going to go into the proxy and we're going to do, I believe, npm start. Okay, so that's perfect. And um, I think it should be running now. So by the way, you also have something within the Shopify partners called a, an example store, 
or a development store and and then you can uh, install this social king dev app on your example store all right uh, so let's go ahead now and go into jungle dash navigator um, slash community slash connect we'll go in this is an example of a demo store right I'm linking to my tribe over here and while it's trying to hit my tribe on slash community slash connect it successfully runs in development mode so that's pretty much the basics of how you do it if you need access to the repo again just put your github username below and i really hope you enjoy this series feel free to ask questions and i really hope you get a lot out of it